Good morning, Westminster friends. This is Chaplain Dawn reaching you from the safety of my room into the safety of your room. I am thrilled that you have decided to join me to tune in for First Cup, a time of guided meditation in scripture. The concept First Cup is borrowed from Cross Point Church in Nashville, Tennessee. My daughter attends there and introduced me to these wonderful devotionals that I have found to be very helpful personally. And so I contacted the church and asked if I could use their creative work and also tweak them a bit for our purposes here at Westminster. And so it's with their blessing that we do so, and hopefully for a few weeks to come. So, first cup a time of focusing on what matters most, our God in heaven and his amazing scripture promises, what is pure, what is lovely, what is right, what is excellent, what is praiseworthy, as we're encouraged to do in Philippians 4, verses 8 through 9, so that God's peace would accompany us. And, you know, when we do this, we're actually following in the footsteps of Jesus, who, according to New Testament scripture, often snuck away to be with his heavenly father. I'm sure to do just that. So sit back, get comfortable and relax, but not too much so that you fall asleep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And either feel free to read along with the words on the screen or maybe even to close your eyes and let me read the words to you. After a few thoughts, there will be several moments of silence during which time you will be encouraged to respond to God in any way that you feel you can or should or desire to. You can do so audibly in the privacy of your own room, or you can do so privately in that deepest part of your heart. But please do respond. The entire meditation is only about eight minutes. So, again, relax and close your eyes if you'd like, but definitely enjoy First Cup. Time of guided reflection in Scripture. Hebrews 12 verse 28 we are receiving a kingdom that can't be shaken so let us be thankful then we can worship God in a way that pleases him let us worship him with deep respect and wonder breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out No matter how shaky the ground beneath our feet may feel, no matter how our faith may falter, God's kingdom is unshakable. Because of that, we worship him. What makes you stand in awe and wonder before God? Tell him now what you love most about him. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Matthew 5, verse 4. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. God loves us so much that he gives us space to grieve. 
He longs to be the place we find comfort and restoration so that we can move forward whole. Share with the Lord what you've lost and where you feel grief and ask him now to provide comfort and healing. verses 3 through 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we've been given. What we receive from God, his comfort, his peace, his strength, we then get to share with others. Invite God now to use the places that you have needed his comfort, peace, and strength to encourage someone else. Psalm 33, verse 11. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever, the purposes of his heart through all generations. God has a plan, and you have a part to play. Ask him now to reveal what he wants you to do this day and to provide you with the courage to step forward into that. Amen. If you feel or sense God speaking to you, you can confirm his voice through his word and his people. Write down anything significant and share it with a close friend. If you'd like someone to talk to, again, please give me a call. I can be reached at 765-464-5113.
and thank you for joining me for First Cup. Thank you, Crosspoint Church in Nashville, Tennessee.